what's going on guys so guys I'm just gonna create the contact us page for now if you just go to the browser and you can see that we've created the home page the our project page the about us page but we just need to create the contact us page for now if you just click on the contact us there isn't any page this page web this web page is not found that means we just didn't create it that yet so now I'm just what I'm just doing for our own benefit because I just don't want to create the whole thing again I just don't want to type these things which is normal and common on all pages I'm just simply copying selecting first and control C copying all the data which is inside the about us page and just click on new button to create a new tab here and pasting all the data of the about us page and saving but I'm saving with the name of contact us page contact us .html. but don't forget that you just already linked up the contact us .html page here let's just see the mouse pointer uh, with the name you just linked up the page here in the ally in the navigation so you should be really careful about putting the name so let's just put the same name you just put it at the top the contact is dot html and just click on save now I've saved that so what more I need I'm just going to the browser and if I just click now so the contact us page is there you can see that the contact us but as, as you know that the contact us page is basically about us for now we just need to delete all these things the text and the image because exactly I just don't want them I just want the form here so first of all you know that this is the complete column I'm just deleting the whole column MD9 by just by selecting I've deleted that and save and go to the browser back and refresh there is no content the text and image like that but the name the page name is about us so we just need to delete the page name too I'm just deleting that the about us and making it the contact us save and what more I need I just need to go to the top to the title area and in a title we just, we just need to update the contact the about us page into contact us page to contact us and save it and go to the browser back and refresh now you can see that there is about us page and there is two I'll refresh and you can check both them out the both are going super awesome so what more I need I just need to put the data which I just want for the form just after this contact us page the page header so I'm just creating the form tag here form tag and there I'm just going inside the form tag and what I'm just doing did you remember the basic thing of the bootstrap we need to know to create a beautiful form in a bootstrap exactly the div first and then inside the div first of all just suggest a class for the div as form group awesome go inside and just put other things like the label first label and inside the label just put like uh, name I just want a name first and I just want to make sure that the label will be required and after that I'm just putting the input type and here I'm just making it as text okay now if you just want to make it as a bootstrap it's tiled input so we have to put a class you know that the form sorry form control and save now go to the browser back and refresh now there is a form control you can see that oh sorry the input you can see that but it's covering the whole ground it's not looking too much fine because you know that we just cannot create a we should not create a name input or input of text like this too wide so going back to the notepad and I'm just adding some limitation to this form the form tag I'm making this a column and I'm just I'm just I'm just collecting only six columns for this form and refreshing okay that is super perfect now you can see that what more I'm just gonna do I'm just adding another thing the call you can understand what I'm just doing the call MD and off set okay and three so basically it will be in the center because uh, I just made them offset three and the column is total six and three after this six so refresh now automatically the form is now in a center looking great and awesome what more I need I just I can do a lot of things but right now I'm just copying simply the form group pasting pasting just okay now the second one should be the email what I'm just doing you just know perfectly but the third one should be the comments so comments and here for the comments we have to create the text area not this kind of input so remove that and create the text area pretty awesome the text area go inside or instead of going inside just go to the first tag and put the data like the form control because I just want to make it uh, the bootstrap style element 
go back to the browser and refresh now the name the email and the form the comment basically so all them looking perfect they come in go back to the notepad and I just want to add some raws raws and how much raws I'm gonna put the 10 raws for now refresh now the 10, 10 raws looking perfect and awesome and the other thing is you can see that we can stretch this as much as we want so go back to the notepad and put another thing the style and in the style I'm just putting the resize as none save and refresh now it's not resizable for now but one thing more we need to add in it so this form should be validated I'm going there to the first one the name area and adding any space and what what, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna add here I'm actually adding the required attribute did you remember we just learned that in the HTML5 course the HTML5 section by using the required attribute what more we can do we can actually make the elements required required now save and go back to the browser and refresh now if I just click on submit so they won't be submit but the second thing and the more, the main important thing is we have to copy the email and we have to paste that there just after the form group and I'm removing the label for now and what more I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the you know the submit button so this submit and save and go back to the browser and refresh there is a button but it, you can see that it's not in the button way so I just need to delete this form control I'm just making this as the BDN and BDN danger and BDN block save and refresh now it's in a block mode in a danger effect and uh, basically it's working perfectly but when I just click on it please fill out this field I just filled out submit please fill out this field I just filled out but it's going to the the comments exactly it's asking me to fill out but this is not the email format but it's not giving me the error that means something wrong there it should it should not be the text I'm removing the text I'm making it the email so after this type of email which is a new HTML5 element it became submit now put and submit now put now it's asking me to the at the rate sign I put it the at the rate now it's telling it's, it's still incomplete the dot now it's telling the dot used at a wrong position so abc.com now everything is fine so basically this is a truly validated element and now it's asking me to put the comment and I, when I just put it the comment the form has been submitted and I got the question mark exactly to make this form actually workable you know that we have to go on the PHP which we just didn't learn yet we will learn the PHP in a PHP section but right now we just learn to design the form completely in all the ways so guys in the next class we will learn some more things stay tuned and goodbye